everyone. How are you all today? It's a nice day here. The rain has stopped. The sun is shining. Life is good. So, um, hope it's great wherever you are today. Uh, just listening to a very interesting program on the radio about water charges. We'll talk about it here. As you may know, there's an awful lot going on at the minute in Ireland here about austerity and we're all paying more in our taxes because of the financial state of the country, I guess. But um, just listening to the radio there, there's an afternoon talk show on at the moment and it's talking about um, the water charges that are being brought in here in Ireland. Um, here in Ireland up to now, your water was free you could use as much as you wanted and you never had to pay for it if you were um, an ordinary dweller who had built a house or who lived in a town or a village that was the case now we've always paid for water because we've lived on a farm and the animals would have been drinking a lot of water so we'd normally have a high yearly water bill uh, but it's just now it's coming in all around and people who've never had to pay for water before are suddenly panicking. What's going to happen here? And uh, um, I have so many teenagers in the house and all the showers they take every day. And seemingly uh, just from listening to it, I haven't read about it or anything. The government are allowing 30,000 gallons or litres. I'm not sure which, maybe litres of water per household per year free and you pay then for what comes after that. Now that sounds like a huge figure, but one man there was ringing in the program and he made up his household. I think he has three teenagers, and himself and his wife, and he said they used 30,000 gallons in seven weeks, 30,000 liters, I beg your pardon, in seven weeks. So that's going to go nowhere. So he says it's going to be very expensive. And also they seem to, they seem to be making an allowance for children under 18 but if you have anybody over 18 living with you um, they the price they're not going to get the allowance in other words you'll have to pay for every drop of water they use now in one way it's a good thing water conservation because I mean if you pay for something you won't waste it we've heard lots of arguments about conserving electricity conserving water but really until it hits your pocket you know that's when you're going to be careful for it and water on our planet it's a luxury so we shouldn't waste it and maybe it is right to pay something for it but I do pity people who are going to have another bill to deal with every month but just a query where you live now do you pay for water do you pay for water charges do you pay monthly do you pay yearly do you agree with the fact that there should be water charges or do you think that the water is like the air on our planet that it's free it's for everybody just interested to know in your comments and uh, as i said we have always paid for water i'm married to my husband now for the past 31 years we've always had to pay our bill every year and it's metered so it's based on the amount of water that we use so of course there's not a lot of waste goes on in our house with water when you've got to pay for it um, the other problem I think with people is it's being introduced so quickly do you see their houses are not going to be metered so I think the government or the minister involved is just going to put a kind of a round figure based on how many people are in your house and their ages and I think that's what's annoying people more than anything because people say like if you use water and if you're using it excessively and if you can see on a meter that you're using it excessively you'll immediately slow down but because this is just a kind of a tax based on the number of people in the house they, they say it's unfair so I suppose really there should be a meter in every house if it is to be fair and then you just pay for the amount you use. One poor woman rang in there a while ago, she has multiple sclerosis and needs to take baths every night I suppose to soften her muscles and she's wondering will there be an allowance made for people with long term illnesses like that. So it's a tricky situation but here in Ireland 
we have lots of tricky situations, but hopefully we're getting out of our debt. The country is still in debt. And Angela Merkel and the EU are making us all jump through hoops to try and clear our debt. So I suppose if you owe money, you have to pay it back. So it's as simple as that. The money has to be found somewhere. And it's better not to take it from the disadvantaged, really, the old people and the children and people who are sick. They should not have their money taken from them. I suppose if you can afford to pay for water, and if you use a lot of it, you should have to pay for it. Nobody gives us food for free. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. idea for people to pay for water I mean we pay for electricity we pay for oil for heating so do you think it's a good idea or not let me know in the comments below and thanks so much for watching bye